so far, we have learnt about proportion. Today, we will see some misconceptions related to proportion and the methods to find proportion. Misconception 1 Our 1500 grams is to 3 kg and 300 centimeter is to 6 meter in proportion? Some students misunderstand that the ratios of two different quantities cannot be in proportion. In the given situation, they think that the ratio of weight and distance cannot be in proportion. Similarly, some students simply ignore the units. They simplify the ratios as 1500 is to 3 is equal to 500 is to 1 and 300 is to 6 is equal to 50 is to 1. They think that ratios 1500 is to 3 and 300 is to 6 are not in proportion. Because of these two misconceptions, students choose option 2 as the answer which is incorrect. The correct understanding is that the ratio of two different quantities can also be in proportion. To express them in ratios, we need to make the units of quantities equal. Since 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams, therefore 1500 grams is to 3 kg is equal to 1500 grams is to 3000 grams. Thus, 1500 grams is to 3 kg is equal to 1 is to 2. Similarly, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Therefore, 300 centimeters is to 6 meters equal to 300 centimeter is to 600 centimeter. Thus, 300 centimeter is to 6 meters equal to 1 is to 2. Since both the ratios are equal, therefore, we can say that ratios 1500 grams is to 3 kg and 300 centimeter is to 6 meter are in proportion. Hence, the correct answer is option 1. Whenever you want to find out whether two ratios are in proportion or not, then it is necessary to make their units equal. Let us now see how to find whether two ratios are in proportion or not. Suppose, we need to check whether 12 is to 15 and 16 is to 20 are in proportion or not. Let us learn some interesting ways to find this out. We have already learnt one method in which we express both the ratios in fractional form and find their simplest form. To do so, we find the HCF of the numerator and denominator of each fraction. Here, the HCF of 12 and 15 is 3 and the HCF of 16 and 20 is 4. We will divide the numerator and denominator of each fraction with the respective HCF. Dividing the numerator and denominator of 12 by 15 by 3, we get the simplest form of this fraction, that is 4 by 5. Similarly, dividing the numerator and denominator of 16 by 20 by 4, we get 4 by 5. Since the simplest forms of both fractions are equal, we can say that 12 is to 15 is equal to 16 is to 20. That means these two ratios are in proportion. To find out whether these two ratios are in proportion, we make their denominators equal. To do so, we multiply the numerator and denominator of one fraction with the denominator of the other fraction. For instance, if we multiply the numerator and denominator 12 by 15 by 20, we get 240 by 300. Similarly, if we multiply 16 by 20 by 15, we get 240 by 300. Since the fractions are equal in both cases, we can say that 12 is to 15 is equal to 16 is to 20. Among all the methods, cross multiplication is the most interesting method. In this method, we will express the two fractions like this. We will then cross multiply them. That means the numerator of the first fraction is multiplied by the denominator of the second fraction and the numerator of the second fraction is multiplied by the denominator of the first fraction. 12 into 20 is equal to 15 into 16. The product of 12 into 20 is 240 and 15 into 16 is 240. After multiplication, we get the LHS is equal to the RHS. Therefore, we can say that 12 is to 15 and 16 is to 20 are in proportion. Try this. 
There are 10 girls and 20 boys in a class. 300 flowers are to be distributed among them. They should be distributed in such a way that the ratio of the flowers given to the girls and the ratio of the flowers given to the boys is 2 is to 1. So find out what the total number of flowers that the boys will get. Today, we have seen misconceptions related to proportion and the methods to find proportion.